Where are you off this early? I'm from Lagos. My city never... <laughs> what brings you to this town from the big Lagos? Work. Work. So, there is no work in Lagos again? It's not that easy to get a job in Lagos. It's from you. Why are you a student? I don't know. They all ran away. All of them. I don't think they understand it. Three years the boys have been failing down. Do you know them? Those boys are difficult to teach. They, they don't, don't know Jack. Oh, uh, that's a little Jack for three years. What do you want Jack? That is Jack of all three. You need a translator. What's the difference? Sometimes it's not what you say, but how you say it. <laughs> How will your children not feel when you are paying 5,000 naira for this? My toy just left. Marvel! The same way you left this Lagos, that's the same way you will come back. There is nothing for you in that Kaduna. Your money now will 500 naira. On top of it. On top of your life. You want to kill yourself because of ordinary 150,000 naira? Do you have that ordinary 150,000 naira? You better think of how to create a job for yourself. That looks like the minister of it. So you think it's only the government that can give you a job? At least have this decency to tell your student before you leave them. See what I'm asking. Hey! What is this? We're still working on good in this town. And it's a shame that nobody sees it, nobody recognizes. In America, there's a generator they call the biogas recovery system. They use it to supply electricity to thousands of homes using cow shit like this. Really? With all these shit? Then let's go and buy the generator. That's the problem. The generator is not something that common people like us can just afford. But you come that. I win the AK Parua. Why are you telling us something we can't afford? There's an alternative. Oh, it's a very beautiful, beautiful movie right there. Yes, I, I'm sure you would want to know why we have to give you, you know, uh, that movie trailer there. But don't worry, in a minute, you will get to know. All right, so welcome back to our discussion segment on Liberty this morning. Yes, we went through the business segment, the sport, and of course, entertainment. And now we're back to the studio for our discussion segment. And today on our discussion segment, we're going to be talking about uh, Nollywood uh, challenges and, of course, prospect. And probably look at a little bit of uh, theatre act uh, that's why we uh, brought up that movie but uh, we have somebody here with us who we really do celebrate here in Kaduna State I feel super excited when I have young people who we celebrate here in Kaduna State uh, she's our very own uh, talking about Habiba Zok Zok. Good morning, Habiba. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. thank you for joining us thank this morning alright well just in case you're wondering who Habiba is like I said earlier she's one of our own she was a uh, and uh, OAP here on Air Personality at Liberty uh, Radio for some time before she left. And uh, now she's into movies. Uh, she went to ABU. Yes. yes and she went to ABU and uh, she started uh, performing act. Theater and arts. of course, a theatre act. Yeah. So we're going to be looking at all that together with her. And um, well, I'm super excited to have her all around. And uh, I, I was just trying to interrogate her why we haven't had uh, any stage play yet this year. But last year we had like two coming from, you know, her, their, their production. A very, you know, interesting uh, act going on there. So, um, Habiba, let's uh, know from you, how has it been for you, you know, combining back then when you were here, mm. you know, OAP and uh, le leaving it and going mm. into acting. How okay. has that transition been for you? Well, um, at first, it was a decision I had to take. Mm. In that in Kaduna, we all know that um, it's, it's, it's quite hard to take up three things at once, especially yeah. if it has to do with entertainment, you have to face one. But in Lagos, it's easier it's because easier. over there, you can see a presenter before you know it, she's jumping onto the next set, before she's going to the studio to sing. There's but room for all of yes, that. Yes, there's room for all of them. That's why I had to decide at that point mm. 
where I had to decide to leave Liberty. Funny enough, it wasn't even acting that took me to Lagos in the first place. Mm. It was actually TV presenting oh, okay. that took me to Lagos. But once I found my feet in Lagos, then I had the room to explore mm. acting, which I did. I started attending auditions and I got callbacks, and that was how it all started. Wow. All right, and uh, that was, you really, really did well in Hakunde. And of Thank course, uh, the other movie, so if I am president, mm -hmm. you know, a couple of movies to your name. And we're super excited and we're happy that at least we have, you know, a a, a, a lady from Kaduna representing us out there. So let's talk about, you, you know, Nollywood. Let's look at Nollywood of then, Nollywood of, of, Nolly Wood the of, the of, of any great now. Nation. You know, Men what's your thoughts about these the two stages of Nollywood? Because for me, I would call it a stage. You know, coming we from know where we used to be, we know how Nollywood used to be, and the Nollywood of now, or probably where we're heading to. Mm. You know, what's your thoughts on the two stages of Nollywood right now? Well, back then, I feel back then it was Nollywood was thriving because mm. they were they paid more attention to professionalism, you know, mm. and there was no rivalry. Being that they look at someone, even if you didn't study theater arts. If you had the craft, if you had the, the gift, sorry, or mm. the talent in you, they would take you, explore you, and you grow. And back then, actors or producers or directors didn't really look, take fame seriously. They were more, um, they paid more attention to their craft. And that way, they get famous. But right now, we have, and sometimes you, you wouldn't blame them because it's 2019. Yeah. Different things are happening. We have the internet. We have many things that, you know, that just distract people and people get carried away easily. Mm. So now people get, people are more focused on the fame. They, they don't really look at, oh, okay, this is what I really want to do. They feel acting is going to make them famous. So when directors call for auditions, when we go for auditions, and somehow there's a role that they're waiting for, mm. you see that they pick people that are more famous to play certain roles in. And even if you, that you're just coming up, you're more better mm. at what you do. They prefer picking people that are more famous, famous because they feel that will sell their fame. And when you look at it seriously, you won't blame them because who doesn't want to make money? Yeah. Everybody wants to make money. So you either yeah, pick someone that will bring money for you. If you, you won't bring money, just stay back. Mm. That's one challenge. Another challenge, I think, uh, is lack of um, quality control. Like, it's hard for directors to put their movie out there without having other people, like piracy, mm. without having other people getting the movie and pirating it. Mm. For example, this film, Hakunde, it, it's when it came out, the f I hadn't seen it in a while. So um, a friend messaged me and said, Oh, I watched Hakunde. You did Where are you up this early? I know she's in Kaduna too. So I asked I'm her from Lagos. She My city yeah. never sleeps. I know that's true. Yeah. 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 And she said, She watched Hakunde. What brings you to this town? Like, town I, mean, actually, I don't even know there's a link Lagos. right now. Please send it to me. Immediately I sent the director of the film, um, Asof Films. That what? I asked and said, Are you put the film online? So, they even tell us that there's no work in Lagos. It's not that easy. It's not that easy. So that's one problem we have faced. Right. Make a film and before you know it, it's already it's online. Now, so yes, and in fact, the fact that online is even inspired, it's mm. not clear. It's not you clear. know, and people are making money off it. Something you really work hard for. So many challenges that we're facing in Hollywood. Hmm. Right, so um, so where are we right now, or where do you think Nollywood is heading to? Do you think that we're dealing with these challenges, you know, gradually, or no, it's still there in our faces? Absolutely, we are dealing with it. I think mm. we are we are doing a good job. Now, 2019, maybe probably in 2021, mm. I think a lot of these problems would have been to be water on, under the room because mm. people are putting more effort now and they are owning up to the directors are owning up to what they are doing that are wrong. When an actor tells them, okay, sir, you shouldn't do this this way. Mm. Even if you are just actors, you might look at us and see, feel like we don't know what we are doing. Mm. But directors are beginning to take corrections. Producers are beginning to take hints from Hollywood mm. and bringing it here. Yes, so we're definitely getting to that place exactly. of where Absolutely. Hollywood is. Yes. No, no, I know. So I know. 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 I know into Nollywood because sometimes it's not just about it. we have so many people that are acting mm -hmm. but they hardly get out there yes you know so how did you probably get there because I know a whole lot of people who might be watching and wondering how do I even start this mm -hmm. journey where do I even yes, start it from yes. so getting to Lagos is one thing mm -hmm. and then getting into the main you know uh, act of it mm -hmm. you know getting into the main uh, uh, place of, of, of Nollywood yes. how did you get there first of all I, I want to say this I wouldn't want to discourage people from staying where they are because right now everybody if you know you want to make an acting go to Lagos, Lagos, to Lagos and I really want true. that narrative to change funny enough you know I came to, down from Lagos you here see, you see, <laughs> I, I left want Lagos, that narrative to change because that's the only way things will get better you don't mm. have to run to Lagos run somewhere to do something 
but um like you said getting roles is quite hard because when i went to lagos i was there for because i was shortly coming to kaduna going mm. back and that's very difficult one thing you need to get yourself in if you have an accommodation that is stable and you have another source of income mm. because at first when you start the money is it's not is there not, it's not there so you have to have another source of income that can support you going for auditions you need transport fare. you know mm. you need to go there often and you need to be patient with yourself because you don't expect to go for an audition and wait and say okay they must call me back they don't call you back they don't call you back enough, you know because when they do an audition and they call you back they probably don't see you fitting into any of the roles but if you fit into a role and they call you take it upon yourself make sure you take it seriously Child, go for the casting when they give you um the go for the casting brother. when it's time to come on set you go for you so when you take things seriously give yourself time be patient with yourself if it's not working for you in lagos you come back to kaduna mm-hmm. that's what i did it was working for me but what didn't work for me in lagos was the accommodation you know i i didn't see myself settling down yet mm. because you know i just I, then i had just gotten married i was yet to even start a family that's having children so I wasn't ready to start in Lagos doing that. I said, let mm. me come back to Canada. Maybe if things grow and if things change, then I'll go back. Go back. Yeah, so you have to be patient with yourself and just walk things, yeah. watch things grow. So how do you deal with, uh, probably you know you're good enough for a particular role, but mm. because the director or the producer has a cousin somewhere, mm-hmm. has a family friend somewhere who, oh, I don't have to act. Mm. Uncle, please put me mm-hmm. here. Or you have people who be like, uh, she's, he's the one sponsoring the movie. Yes. So anybody the person brings must be the lead actor. How do you deal with that? when you know that this role is I'm, I'm actually yes. much more better you know in in this personally role. personally what i just say is their loss hmm. there's nothing you can do you can't go and force it upon them forcing down their throat and say look i'm better than this person just because it's their loss because last last when you watch it at the end of the day when you watch this movie and you hmm. see that person the director brings that wasn't good enough you see that the person doesn't even do as much as you so it should encourage you you should have that's why i said you have to be patient with yourself you have to be you have to know your worth so if they don't pick you for that role, which you think you are better, mm. just tell them it's their loss and go your way. Once, someday, they will pick you for something that will not open more doors for you. Mm. All right. Well, if you're just joining us, it's Liberty Television. And we're talking about Nollywood challenges and, uh, you know, prospects of Nollywood with our very own Habib Batanko Zogzog, who is here in Feduna. Uh, uh, once and away if you here at Liberty uh, Radio. And, uh, you know, she left to dive into acting. Now, let's come back to... Uh, performing act theater arts mm-hmm. now what's the difference between you know theater arts and you know nollywood or movies you know yes. acting movies okay yeah. the difference is on stage it is more exaggerated your acts whatever mm-hmm. it is that you're told to do you have to exaggerate it because people are right there in front of you they are watching you trying to get your message so you have to exaggerate it you have to be audible mm-hmm. you have to you know your your mannerisms have to be exaggerated and all of it and stage the disadvantage i won't really look at it as a design but it's different from acting because on on acting like i said on stage is exaggerated on act on screen is subtle Mm. your acts has to be subtle you don't have to exaggerate because people are watching in the the comfort of their homes so you don't have to really shout and you know make your mannerisms but um very exaggerated another thing is stage they get to rehearse they get to rehearse probably months before they put it out there for people to watch even if on that d-day when you're putting out there once you make a mistake the mistake has gone you can't correct it just let it slide Hmm. but on screen they don't get to rehearse you just they give you your script you take it home you read get your lines and you put yourself into the role role. you come on set and once they say action you deliver Hmm. even if when you make a mistake you can say cut and take it again but it's different from stage because once you are delivering it on stage it's going out there for for the audience Hmm. you can't take it back yeah okay all right, so um, let's look at um, the the place of performing art in Nigeria. The place of performing art in Nigeria. I know that you know uh, screen movies movies have actually gone far, mm. but then um, do people still appreciate arts, uh, theater arts, as much? Uh, knowing fully well that you've organized a couple of uh, you know theater plays mm. in Kaduna here, what's what's the reception? What do you think about people accepting? You know, or actually making a move to come out for, you know, to actually come out to watch look, people. watch out for uh, a performing art. Well, the thing is, when something is new to a place, it will take time for people to get used to it. Mm. So if you start something and you see the reception is not what you expect, just keep doing it. Mm. In Kaduna, yes, we started stage play in Nerd Factory last year. We put out two plays and 
the reception at first wasn't what we expected, but it was normal because mm. people just people are just trying to get used to it that okay, there's a play in Kaduna, let's go watch it. Mm. But when we did the first one, it was it was quite good. Then it took a while. We did the second one, it was also good. This year we haven't done anyone because we've mm. been having a little bit of challenges with funds. That's another thing. We need the government to, you know, to support us. That yeah. that's a problem. Governments don't look at Nollywood industry and they don't give them the support that we need. And Nollywood they spend a lot of money. Sure. They spend a lot of money. They probably see that okay, it's not having people used to get famous. Maybe they don't mm. need that money. So we need the government to put their head, to put their hand into that, into Nollywood, so that mm. they can help us. That funds, if we had gotten the funds now from the government, probably would have stayed about Industry. three plays. Wow. But hopefully in October, we are coming up with another play. Okay, so we should watch out. All right, so let's come back to you. How do you combine family and all of this? Because mm. you're already talking about, you know, going out to for another movie, mm. you know, and all of that. How do you manage both? Well, the thing is, you have to have a support system. Mm. When I say support, I mean family. Your husband, your mother, your sister. Just find someone who, when it's time for you to go on set, or you, maybe you want to attend an audition, mm. you find someone, if you have a child, find someone to look after your child. Or if you can, because... Um, for if I'm pressed at the audition, yeah. I took my child along because then I oh. just gave him, but he was still breastfeeding. Mm. So I took him even for the shoot. He was on set, and it was not that difficult for me because the role I had, I was given was not a lead role. Yeah. It was more like a worker pass. I won't call it a worker pass, <laughs> but something that was very small. So yeah. it was easy for me to take him. So if it's something that you can actually come with your family, you know, to to work for you. Mm. But if it's something that you need to be dedicated, like there's a film I've done. We've not even mentioned it. Make room. Mm. It's yet to come out. Make Room is actually a very, very big film hmm. because it tackles, it talks about this insurgency that oh. we've been having in Nigeria. Hmm. So that's one film that I know I gave my all to. We shot it in Joss and it, it was, it was, it oh, happened yeah, for I think I saw the hype about yes, the movie sometime Yes, it's, it's yet to come out, it's hmm. yet to come out. It's taking so long, but you know, they say nothing good comes easy. Of course. Nothing good comes easy. So sure. Make Room is one film that I had to give my all. Hmm. And yes, I was married then and I was even expecting, but I wasn't showing. So hmm. I went to set, I did my thing. You have to just trust yourself, believe in yourself. If something you can do, put your head into it and you'll do it. Okay, um, now talking about your movies, let's talk about um, Hakunde. What, what was your experience like? Uh, Hakunde was wonderful because I was in Lagos and when I got the call that we are shooting Hakunde and, mm. and they said we have to travel, my first thought was where are we going to? And when I had <laughs> Lagos, my city never sleeps. What brings you to this town from the beach, Lagos? And it was, it was wow. exciting. I didn't even get to stay with them because when it came to the project, they work. So, there's no work in the industry. It's not that easy. That was quite easy for you. It's quite easy for me. And they didn't really just set. So, that was the first time before me. So, it was interesting. I got to meet a lot of people and talk to people I've never met in my life. People like Rahama, Salud, 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 Three years, you were not spending that. You know, Jack. You need a transfer. I feel afraid that always make it Sometimes it's not what you say, but how you say it. How will your children not feel when you are paying 5,000 and I put it? Don't keep it. My boy, The same way you left this labor, that's the same way you will come back. There is nothing for you in that country. Your money is now with 500 naira. Okay, you have one. On top of your life. So I know, if I am present, you want to kill yourself yourself, of course, I will not. I'm sure some of our viewers have actually seen that movie. It's very, very sad. Yeah, I'm sure you have that. I'm not going to tell you that I'm not in my presence. You better think of how to create a job for yourself. That looks like the minister of the election. Talks about so you think it's only the government that can give you a job. Things would be if if a particular person was pursuing. Like the film talks about um um a man. What's his name? Oh my God, I can't really remember his name. But he he's a young man and he wanted to come out for president. Zina, thank mm. you very much. Zina wanted to come out for president and uh, he faced a lot of challenges becoming president because it's normal when you want to be president, you want to be something big in life. Mm. You know, you face problems. So if I'm president, it was, it was also done in an era that it was perfect because there was a the shortage during before, before election, before election. election. Before election. And it came out at just at about that time. So it, it made a good impression on people because people watched it and you know when you're doing something that goes with the season, people are more ginger, you know, to go in that line. So yes, if I'm president.
Do you think that I've got a chance in this election? Right. So, um, what about other productions that you've been into? Because for us here, I think uh, stop have been when there and that this one uh, stop uh, when made from that you said is uh, about to come out or it will soon be out there. I don't want to talk much about that, so we keep people in suspense. Yes, yes. Now, what about other productions? Or rather, let me say, how has it been for you producing, uh, going through the production of, uh, you know, performing acts okay. because I know it involves a whole lot of people you mm -hmm. have a whole lot of actors how do you scout for them how do you make sure that you know this the person you're getting is for that specific role mm -hmm. because at the end of the day sometimes that's where some directors or some you know producers get it wrong mm -hmm. they don't know which uh, particular uh, place to give any actor you mm -hmm. know what role to give a particular actor and sometimes that's where it gets you know really wrong mm -hmm. so how do you scout for actors for performing acts because at the end of the day it's quite so you know it, it there's the difference yes, between yes. the screen and uh, the you stage. know film and, and stage mm -hmm. so how do you scout for people who would really Deliver. Deliver. You know. Okay, first of all, audition is one crucial part of mm. um, acting that you can overlook. It's not just important in screen. In stage, we also do auditions. And when we wanted to start Net Factory, we, we, we put out notice for auditions for people to come in, mm. you know, show us what they have and tell us why they want to be part of it. And we, we, got, we got good results because people came young, especially young people, mm. even if these are people that they are, um, they are not trained, you know, they just have the the interest they want to act they are not trained and um in future we are thinking of training people so that it will be easier for us mm -hmm. when we want to do something we just we'll call just this call person them. right now it's very hard because you want someone that is that is that is trained someone mm -hmm. that's already that's experienced and it's quite hard because now an experienced person will want to get paid more okay, and yeah. once, as we are starting there's no money so we want people who understand that there's no money right now. You're just doing this, and as time goes by, when once the money comes out, you you too you'll be part of it. You will enjoy sure. the money. Well, so probably audition from is there, it. you yes. know, you yourself can exactly. just uh, go for that. Yes. Right. So, um, government and Nollywood mm. is is actually a very big challenge. Mm. It's it's a very big challenge. Well, probably for um the bodies in Nollywood, um, uh, talking about um Actors Guild and the rest, yes. probably they they use that to pro access the government much mm -hmm. more easier. But for other productions that are outside, uh, probably that can't readily access the government, what do you think, you know, we can do, you know, as a whole body? Because I want to believe that media is all part of entertainment, mm -hmm. you know. So what do you think we can do as uh, uh, probably private uh, production companies, you know, or uh, is, I think government-owned productions uh, companies? Mm, I'm not that I've heard of. That's how I probably see. Probably there are, there oh, is, yeah? but I've not heard of any. Okay, so how do private owned you know um, organizations or media organizations get to pull in government support? Because with their support, Nollywood will go far. First of all, you need to start something before you can ask the government for help. Because if you don't have anything, mm. how will the government? Please be. Just keep going. Okay. 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 an NGO mm -hmm. and ask for support we don't just rely on the government even if yes the government are trying but we need them to try more we mm -hmm. need them to put more effort you know you can also face other NGOs you know send out proposals you know give them calls and let them know and ask them for their support all right so now um, in Nollywood do you think probably are the old actors helping out you know in terms of uh, opening up to the new actors because sometimes they feel like uh, they're actually going for new generation actors mm -hmm. and they're leaving us behind. Mm -hmm. So do you think um, the, the new actors now, mm -hmm. or probably like yourself, who you know is trying to immerse yourself in Hollywood, do you think the old actors are actually giving you room to do a whole lot of that? Are they being supportive? I, I think they're trying. They're yeah. trying. I think the problem usually is when it comes to the producers and the directors because the actors at the end of the day, they don't have so much to say. It is you who's making the film or directing the film that will say, okay, um, you come. Like this film I'm talking about, Make Room. Mm. The director, when he called for auditions, you know, when we, when, when he called us for the Baby, don't stop. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm so for you. Anything. 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 Anything.
It's a wrap for day five. And you know what? Today is the first time we're getting up sets before eight o'clock and I'm happy. How was with you today? Is it weird that you read these actors? It's mixed feelings. <laughs> I don't know why you're licking your lips. <laughs> it's a mixed feelings because, you know, we have this mountain thing, the rocks. You know, like, so let's talk about, um, because I know cinema is one major aspect of yeah, and the whole action in that. Uh, what's, uh, okay, yeah, because, yeah, I, I, I'm even trying to construct this right now because I, here in Kaduna, we know it's 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 one major. Anyway, mm. with the new um, uh, structure that is going on, hopefully we'll have uh, yes. some cinemas yes, uh, there. Yes, you know, in Kaduna. But for now, what do you think about the cinemas? You know, ah, issue we have here honestly, in Kaduna because honestly. that's why we don't have some movies coming down here. That's why we don't get to see a lot of uh, you know these movies mm -hmm. that are being uh, produced and put out uh, there. Mm -hmm. What do you think about it? Because sometimes if you want to watch a good movie or you really feel like going to the cinema, probably you have to go to Abuja mm -hmm. or you go to Kano, yes. you know, to have a uh, to watch a movie. So what do you think about uh, the cinema culture here in Kaduna? Well, I don't even want to compare it with Lagos. Let's start mm -hmm. with probably Kano or you know Abuja. <laughs> Yeah. You know, even Kano and Abuja, you mm, still can't compare. It's true, Because though. they are way ahead of us mm. in Kaduna. They are so way ahead of us. We are still behind in this issue of cinema. Mm. Yes, when you say there's no cinema, some people say, ah, there's cinema now. You go to um, ESD, mm. you say, and I'm like, yes, that's a cinema, but you don't, you don't see it function every time. Yeah. It's just maybe in a season, you see, okay, yes, they invite people mm -hmm. and they show movies. We need commercial cinemas in Kaduna. When I say commercial cinema, I mean cinemas that are working 247. Mm. As this movie is showing, it's going out, another, another movie is coming is in. Coming. Recent movies, that's what we need in Kaduna. That's the only way we mm. can even encourage actors because that way actors will be like, okay, sure. yes, they'll pay us. Mm. Let's, let's, let's do this. But it's really discouraging. Mm. So like you said, facilities are coming up promising for cinemas and mm. I really hope that will change things in Kaduna. Okay. Well, hopefully we get to see a lot of uh, more cinemas. But that's to uh, somebody or anybody who is willing to invest here in Kaduna. Mm -hmm. That's a major market, yes, you know, yes. for them to come in and invest here uh, with us uh, uh, in the cinema business. Mm -hmm. All right, so you're still watching Liberty Television. And, of course, we're talking about Nollywood, this prospector, look, looking at, uh, you know, a little bit of um, theater art also. All right, with uh, um, the one and only, our very own Habib Batan Kuzoksak. So let's go on a short break. We'll be right back. You must have had the saying that children are the leaders of... The future leaders of any great nation. Men have been at the helm of affairs of this nation for almost 60 years. We love our country not because it is great, but because it is our own. Do you think that I've got a chance in this election? The office of the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria is not a ground for experiment. We step down from running for the office of the President. And join us. I am not a politician and I don't plan on being one. This is not the real Nigeria. They're just using you to achieve their evil aim. There's something wrong. I'll give you two minutes to dispatch this assembly or I'll be compelled to use forceful measures. They tried to wipe my family away. Oh, we're not stuck. Don't stop when we're tired, Daddy. We stop when we're done. A child does not go asking who killed his father. Una will walk again. From the beginning of your 
campaign, all he keep chanting is corruption free Nigeria. You think we are not fighting corruption enough? Are we not tired? It's a digital age, and the power to wield this age is in the hand of the young people. It is one thing to keep complaining about the problems. It is a whole other thing to stand up when it matters most. So these attacks continue, we will have no choice but to protest. We shall show them who owns Nigeria. 22. Who is this Zina? I'm from a polygamous home. A small boy. Welcome to the Nigeria presidential nomination debate. To move Nigeria forward, we must call a spade a spade. But of millions that have fallen for this country, how many have been truly celebrated as heroes? So there's absolutely nothing wrong with Nigeria that cannot be fixed by what is right. You will be president someday. Only then would you realize what it takes to sit here as the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Uh, that's uh, um, a trailer of If I Am President. Though her face didn't come out there, but I'm sure that if you've seen the movie, you would definitely know her. She's uh, quite, uh, you know, somewhere that you can't help but notice, you know, her talent in movies. All right, now, um, before we went on that break, we were talking about um, the cinema culture here. Do you think that security probably is one of the issues? Oh, absolutely. Insecurity is yes. one of the issues yes. why we can't really yes, have yes. a very people, people, good People summer. are scared of going out to see a movie and... You know, on, on your way back, yeah. investing because you, you don't know where mm. your money is going to. You don't know if you get your profit back. So yes, that's another thing, insecurity. Mm. Mm. So that's a major, you know, factor when it comes to probably helping the entertainment industry grow here mm -hmm. in Kaduna. Mm. All right, so let's look at um, some of the actors. Now, apart from you, do you think there are a good number of uh, Kaduna actors or actresses out there, you know, in Nollywood doing well? Yes, um... I wouldn't say they, they are not Kaduna indigenous. You wouldn't yeah. say they come from Kaduna, but, but a lot of north. them were based in the north. Mm. We have um, Lucy Ame, who, mm. is, who was based in Kaduna, who is in Lagos. She's doing very well. She featured in Queen Amina. Okay. Yes. Uh, we have we have a, a couple of others. We have a lot of them. Rama Sado, even if she's more of the, she's not really in Canwood right now. She's mm. going to be more Nollywood films. Yeah. So we have we have a lot of them. I really I don't want to start naming mm. names, but we have a lot of them. A lot of them well. from yes. the north. Yes. Yeah. And you think our talent because Kaduna is is a hometown of talent. Mm -hmm. You know. So what what do you think is is the issue here? Is it that we're not pushing it further, or is it that um, we are not so serious, or we don't take our talent so seriously? First of all, I think it is the, your nature will always. You know, you can't you can't play nature. You can't deceive. Your nature mm. will always come in the way if you are in a particular way naturally. Right down here in the north, we are conservative somehow. You know, yeah. we are we are more calmer. We are we like to do things slowly, softly. Mm. You know, we take things easy. But when it comes to Nollywood now, you know, you have to be aggressive. You have to be chased about it. That's why it's taking us time to grow. Mm. But I think eventually we'll get there. Okay. Eventually we'll get there. All right, so I'm um, just seeing a bit uh, as we're about to round up. What's how? Where do you see yourself probably in the next two, three, four, five years? Mm, well, see myself by then. I hope hopefully I would have done more movies. Mm. Um, concerning stage, hopefully we'll have put out more plays, more and plays. by then Net Factory mm. will not just be something we talk about now. Be you know, we'll just, name. yes, will be a household name. Mm. So that's the plan. All right, so um, uh, so what's your advice for people who are probably looking up to go into Nollywood? You know, people who are really uh, interested in doing, you know, uh, theater arts, you know, and all of that. Aside from saying you have to probably go through school to, mm. you know, gain uh, yes. some uh, uh, knowledge there. And sometimes it, it doesn't even have to do with school yes, at all. Yes, you exactly. have some people who are naturally talented. Now, for people who want to get into Nollywood, who want to go into theater arts, let's get your advice for them. First of all, school... And I probably tell them categorically <laughs> what how Nollywood is, <laughs> so they will really know. Because some of them <laughs> think that it's, it's, it's just... It's better roses. It's better roses. Just, just go there, make it's your not, money, and start not, flaunting cars not, around. But you what know? you can do for yourself is train yourself. People think, okay, even if you didn't study theater art, you can go into the movie industry. But if you're yet to go to, into the university, now is the best time for you to decide. Hmm. If you're yet to write jam, now is the best time to decide. If you know you want to act, go for theater art. It will help you. Trust me. Hmm. It will help you. And if it's too late, you've done some other course that has nothing to do with theater art, and you still want to go into it, train yourself. We have the internet now. Go on YouTube, watch videos, read books. Yeah. That will make your, your craft grow. You know, that will make it good. Because once you're good and you're out there, hmm. you'll make it. It might take time, but you make, but you have to be good. 
what's your goal that you have that you make it so that's my advice all right so at the end of the day in hollywood is not all rosy mm-hmm. it has its own parts but um you have to play your cards well yes. you know at the end of the day and uh, make sure you probably follow the examples of people who have set good yes, you know have yes, set good, good examples. examples because they will tell you that Nollywood is about money, mm-hmm. but at the end of the day, maybe they have their side hustle. Exactly. Side and what we all see on social media. And before we go though, what's the role of social media in all of ah, this? Social media yeah. is really deceiving a lot of people. Even mm. the social media, the aim was to help people. Yeah. So you need to be very wise. Social media is, you know, creating this fake life. Even for mm. actors, you see actors living this large life and you think, oh, they are doing very well, mm. they are paying them a lot of money. Everybody is just trying to make it. But so don't get don't get carried away. One thing I'll say is, make uh, use social media to your advantage. You can make videos. There's something mm. we call. Mm. You get into it and you do it. So make use of social media. Make videos. Put your videos out there. Let people see. You can never tell mm. who's going to call you. All right. Well, make use of social media positively. Mm. That's just the watchword here. All right. Well, thank you so much, Happy Botako Sok Sok. It's me. been a very, very exciting, thank you know, you. let it's me just say gist at yeah. the end of the day. All right. I'm talking about Nollywood and challenges, prospects, mm. and of course, theater, art, and all of that, all that has to do with, you know, the film industry. So hopefully we get to see you more in our movies, more mm. in our faces, Amen. you know, and get to hear you more in Kaduna. We're super proud of you, thank by you the so way. Much. We're thank super you so much. Thank you. Thank you for the support. Thank you for everything. All right. I hope when you get there, we'll call you. Uh-uh, call. Uh-uh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I trust you. Give me five. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for staying. I did join us again tomorrow morning. I uh, will bring you a full package of the breakfast show. We'll start up with issues in the news and then we we'll head over to the other segments of the show. So I wish you all a very, very happy and a wonderful day ahead. Do have a nice day ahead. My name is Rosie. So do stay tuned to Liberty Television.